Good morning, Richard Eckley here again uh, on a, no not Wednesday, Thursday, what are we today? Wednesday today, Wednesday, Wednesday morning. It's uh, a wet and, yes, yeah, wet one here in Merthyr Tidville. I'm on my way to work, got me, got me morning coffee, keep me going in the morning. Hope you're everyone keeping well. Uh, we're on a Wednesday, so we're on a relationship Wednesday on our Your Four Keys to a Healthier, Happier You. And I so said the book I'm reading at the moment on relationships is um, Alan P's uh, Why Men Lie and Women Cry. It's a very good book. And they say the difference between men and women, how sort of women tend to nag more and men moan more. And it's just a way of sort of communicating with each other. And quite often, as I said, it, things have changed a lot in, in just our sort of social behaviours since sort of the Second World War, really. Up until then, men went out to work, women stayed home, brought up the kids. And that's just how it went literally for thousands of years before that. That's how it went. Men went out to work and women stayed home and nest, did the nest defending sort of thing we talk about. And it carried on that way for years. And then since the Second World War, obviously women sort of then come into the workplace more. And then they're more sort of equal partners in the work and the house. And we're all sharing roles, uh, similar roles to each other now. So there's no more sort of like defined man goes to work, woman stays home. That's gone. Sex equality's come in now. So we're all trying to learn our way with sort of different ways of doing things. Because our, our brains are still wired from thousands of years. It doesn't change overnight how we need to sort of change our social behaviour. And that's how things are moving nowadays. We're all sort of learning to cope with sort of new social behaviours. Over the last sort of, yeah, 60, 70, 80, 90 years, it's, it's all changed. It's been a huge leap in, in sort of just a whole social being, if you like. And we're sort of learning to cope with it. And they say sort of women sort of nag more and men moan more. Nagging's more just a com it's, it's, it's a way to sort of communicate because quite often those that do stay at home more still, the little jobs they're asking the man to do is just because they've been at home doing these sort of things and they just want some sort of appreciation to do the work. Well, then the man sort of moans about stuff because he's been at work himself and he's sort of feeling sort of just a bit cheesed off because she's got jobs he, she wants him to do and he's thinking in his mind, well, I've been at work all day, I just want to sit down and just chill for a bit. But there's jobs she would like him to do and then sexual communication, that's the, that's the biggest problem with, with sort of things nowadays, is just talking to each other and getting more communication going back and forward and getting some common ground to work on. So we said we all we sort of come together as two separate people. We sort of bring have our children. We sort of grow together, but we're still two separate people. We still got our own sort of separate interests, but we still need to communicate and connect more closer together, so we know what each other's sort of looking for and what we're going, trying to still support each other. And it was the the, the it was an interesting thing was in the book was saying about that back in the sort of 1800s, 1700s, actual it's called be, being a, a, a common scold. It was like a, a nagging wife. They were they were put on a ducking stool back in those days because sort of men had all the power, and and they were put on a ducking stool and they were ducked in the local um, pond or, or, or lake, if they were nagging too much and the actual court said yes you are coming to scold you nag your husband too much, and the last one actually put on the ducking was 1809 she was she was actually ducked for nagging her husband it's just unbelievable nowadays but that's how how things were but I said we've changed so much. And we're still sort of trying to trying to cope with the communication problem with each other. There's different sexes who have totally different ways of thinking, acting, and behaving. And it's, it's quite a hard hard process to learn. But yeah, it's just it's just sort of taking the time to listen to each other. And she sort of she, if the lady does sort of nag you a bit, it's just she wants sort of some communication from you. And quite often the man sort of if he's getting nagged, he's reading his newspaper, watching TV, and he focuses even more on that thing to try and ignore the nagging which doesn't really help the situation, and she feels more upset, and it can sort of develop into a bad way then. So it's, it's just to try and talk. It's like anything. If you can try and talk things out, sort things out, it goes for a much easier life, and you have more better communication. That's my little thought on uh, relationships today. Hope you're all keeping well. Keep enjoying this uh, wet all day today. Uh, if you've got value in this, please drop me some comments below. You can uh, share it if you like, and you can get in touch with me at rickeckley67 at yahoo.co.uk. All the best.